The Wilson family was fascinated by the beauty and grandeur of the Blackthorn mansions. They decided that this house would become their new home, and they could not even imagine what a sinister story was hidden behind its facade. When buying a house, they knew only a little. They knew that he was in a remote area surrounded by a dense forest. They had heard rumors that some unexplained events had taken place in the house, but they did not attach much importance to it. When they first crossed the threshold of the halls of the Blackthorn, they were amazed by its beauty and splendor. Majestic walls, lush interiors, architectural details, all this created an impression of luxury and sophistication. The Wilson family felt they had made the right choice. However, soon after moving in, they started noticing strange things. At first glance, minor details, slightly creaking doors, rustling in the semi-darkness, a slight draft that seemed to penetrate the bones. But over time, these phenomena have become more and more ominous. The walls of the palaces of the Blackthorn seemed to come to life. Visible and invisible shadows moved through the rooms, leaving behind the sense of evil spirits. The air was filled with a gloomy smell of rot and death, which could not be explained by the presence of mold or humidity. It was the smell of darkness. Gradually, the Wilson family realized that they were not alone in this house. Terrible dreams and nightmares have become their constant companions. Children have seen dead ghosts, warriors and help seekers. The couple heard screams and screams that came from nowhere. The sinister history of the halls of the Blackthorn began to unfold before them. But they couldn't just run. They have already invested too much in this house, and it would be unbearable to lose everything. Instead, they decided to explore the house's past, hoping to uncover its secrets and find a way to resist the evil that enveloped it. They dug through historical records, old archives and documents to restore the history of the palaces of the Blackthorn. The deeper they dug, the clearer it became that the house was connected to a dark past. The owners of the house have practiced black magic and sacrifices in the past. They made a pact with the darkness, sacrificing their souls in exchange for power and immortality. The Wilson family realized that they had become hostages of this curse. The halls of the Blackthorn turned into their prison, and they realized that they would have to fight for their lives and their soul. Bloody footprints and vague messages appeared at night, as if the ghosts of the past were trying to communicate with the living. The Wilson family was overcome by a sense of incomprehensible influence, and they noticed that the spirits had become increasingly aggressive. Every night when they fell asleep, their dreams turned into nightmares. They saw visions of dormant and suffering experienced by those who were cursed in the halls of the Blackthorn. These nightmares were so realistic that they woke up in a cold sweat and trembling with terror. Suddenly, the house began to come alive during the day. Objects began to move by themselves, furniture moved, doors opened and closed. Shadows continued to float on the walls, and their presence was impossible to ignore. The Wilson family felt that the house breathed its own life and the curse was becoming more and more tangible. They turned to experts in the occult for help and performed purification rituals, but all in vain. The curse was too strong to just break it. The Wilson family realized that they would have to uncover the secrets and the past of the house in order to break its curse once and for all. They began to investigate all available sources of information archives and diaries of the previous owners of the Blackthorn Palaces. With each new discovery, they learned about the sacrifices made here in the name of Black Magic, and about the contract concluded with the Spirits of Darkness. Realizing that the past and the present are intertwined in this house, the Wilson family realized that they would have to face the forces of evil that reside in the halls of the Blackthorn. They discover even more terrible details and dark secrets that are associated with this cursed place. The answer to the riddle of the curse seems to be getting closer. They find diaries of past victims describing creepy rituals and human sacrifices conducted in the halls of the Blackthorn. All these terrible deeds were intended to summon the forces of evil and darkness. The Wilson family realizes that in order to break the chains of the curse, they need to perform a purification ritual, but it requires sacrifice. They fall into despair because they will have to confront the very forces of evil that are pursuing them. 
With each step in the exploration of the past, the impact of the curse on the Wilson family increases. The spirits of the past are becoming more aggressive and thirsty for revenge. Shady rustles are heard in the house, and the air is filled with an atmosphere of darkness. The moment of truth has come. The Wilson family is going to perform a purification ritual, hoping to free themselves and the house from the curse. They know it won't be an easy task, but they are willing to sacrifice themselves to They spent days and nights studying ancient records and mystical books, looking for the key to the source of the curse. During their research, they discover a connection between the house and the family that lived here many years ago. The Wilson family learns about the cruelty and atrocities committed by this family, which served as the beginning of the curse. They understand that in order to completely overcome evil, they need to expose the dark secrets of the past and take responsibility for cleaning the house. Desperately battling their own fears and doubts, the Wilson family begins a cleansing ritual. They create an altar, offer their prayers and incantations, invoking the forces of light and goodness to cope with the dark essence that is imprisoned inside the house. The cleansing process is filled with powerful energy and strength, and the Wilson family feels the evil begin to recede. They see shadows spreading across the floor, hear ominous screams, but they don't let it distract them from their goal. Finally, there is silence inside the house, but the ghost